Hello and welcome back to Rosalind's Kitchen. Now tonight's meal is actually one I've made before and it got high reviews. We'll see. Um, there are going to be a little bit differences because I'm adjusting for daddy's tastes. But this is the Caprice Burger. So it looks good. The thing is that daddy doesn't like caramelized onions. So Half this on part of this onion is going on his burger as raw, and part of it's going on as caramelized. Also, he's not big into the mayo, he just wants the cheese, of which I have cheese. We also have a tomato. It doesn't look real ripe, but it's there. Potatoes. Basil, pesto mayonnaise, hamburger, and of course the buns. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is cutting up my potatoes so that I can bake them in the oven for about 30 minutes. So we will continue. Okay, the directions say to quarter the potatoes lengthwise I just got my knives sharpened uh, at the gun show recently. Getting my knives sharpened was the main reason I went to the gun show. I do want to get a gun, but I don't want to get it until Daddy is able to be there with me. So, but I did get my knives sharpened. And he's like, the one thing I want you to know is that they're pro your knives are going to be sharper than you're used to. So be careful you don't cut yourself. I'm like, okay. I'll try not to cut my fingers off cutting my, anything up. So, okay, now I need to cut these into about half inch pieces. So, that's an estimate. Daddy is fond of saying it's not an exact science, so we have our little pieces. I will come back to you once I'm done cutting. All right, so potatoes, seasoning blend, salt, pepper. Now, work the oil and the seasonings into the potatoes. It's a smaller bag than I use, usually, because for some reason I don't have any gallon bags. I could have sworn I had ordered some, but you just got to go with what you got, you know? So you see, it looks pretty good. Now, we will put them on the baking sheet. Alright, here we go. spread these guys out so they can all cook nice and evenly. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think everybody is set. We're about ready to go in the oven for 30 minutes. All right, so now I need to peel and cut up my onion. Ah. This is a nice red onion. I'm not quite sure what makes red onions and yellow onions and white onions and purple onions and you know all of those different i know vidalia onions are supposed to be sweeter um it wasn't until i started doing home chef that i i started eating onions at all <laughs> i used to be very very picky if it wasn't something that I was used to or whatever, I was like, nope, not eating it. And now 
I'm trying all kinds of strange things. So, you know, Daddy used to be the one who was always so adventurous in what he ate. And now he's like, nope, don't like it. So, let me get my mandolin. And we're going to slice up the onions. Like I said, part of these are going to go raw. And part of these are going to be cooked. So... there. All right, so I'll be back. All right, daddy's onions and the onions to be caramelized. Now I need to cut up my tomato. So cut and then I need to core my tomato. Let me see where my core go. I know I have a Cora here. Calling Cora. I'll be right back as soon as I find my Cora. It was right in front of me. cord and now I need to cut these into half inch or fourth inch rounds And there you go. All right, so now we're going to combine our pesto. With our mayonnaise. So there's my pesto mayonnaise. And now I'm going to put this in the refrigerator so it stays cool. And we will continue on with making our hamburgers. All right, so now my pan is, I think, hot. Yep, put my onions in there. And I'm going to cook them for about 13 minutes, 10 to 13. So we will go from there. All right, so while my onions are cooking, I'm going to make my patties. So separate these into two. And use my patty maker here to 
make my patty. I'm out of there. There we go. <sighs> Patty's trying to pull apart. See, my patty maker has holes in the bottom so that I can get the patties out again, which is very useful. All right, so now I'm going to salt. Each side, you might say I need being a salt in it if you want it to be punsky. All right, there we go. And let me stir my onions a little bit more. As you can see, they're cooking down nicely. Not quite sure if they're achieving caramelization yet, but they're definitely cooking down. So, all right, so my caramelized onions are ready. Put it back on, put the onions in the oven to stay warm, and now got a little olive oil. Cook them about four minutes per side, and then we'll go from there. All right, so my cheese is on my hamburgers. Whoa, hello. Uh, my cutting board there. Now, let me get my potatoes and my onions. All right, so first, the potatoes. Lots of, oh, hello, a lot of potatoes there. All right, so. the mayonnaise on my bun because like I said daddy doesn't want any mayonnaise on his and get his burger get my burger put my onions on still a whole lot of onions put daddy's onions on put a slice of tomato on mine and none on daddy's Actually, let me put a couple of slices on mine. All right. This. Ah! 
This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it does look like. Now, we'll see what it tastes like. All right, so tonight's was very good. Daddy liked it. I liked it. There's joy in the world again. Yay! So tomorrow, hopefully, we will be having mushroom smothered Salisbury steak. But we'll see. Because life is weird, especially in 2020. But no matter what, remember, all lives matter. Peace out.